Welcome to this tutorial on creating seamless textures using Scenario. Seamless textures and materials help create visually consistent surfaces for games, animations, architectural renderings, and digital art. Scenario provides tools to create and refine textures and materials, ensuring professional grade results. As a practical example, let's create textures for a dungeon. In a few steps, we'll design a cohesive set of textures, including rugged stone walls and weathered wooden floors. Along the way, we'll explore how to use tools like ControlNet to integrate reference images for better control over composition and details, and we'll also learn how to train custom texture models for a more personalized style. No need to browse through extensive gigabytes of texture packs anymore. You can shape the texture exactly as you envision from the beginning. Start by going to the Models page and selecting the Texture tag to filter models specifically designed for creating textures. Scenario offers a range of pre-trained models. Some are general-purpose models for creating a variety of textures, while others focus on specific materials such as concrete, wood, or stone walls, for instance. You'll also find stylized models options like hand-painted textures. For this example, We'll use the Realistic Textures 2.0. Click Use this model and then select Generate. Enter a detailed prompt to get started, like a dungeon wall made of rugged stone blocks covered with patches of moss clinging to the cracks and edges. Make sure your prompt has the right length, structure, and level of detail, and consider adding stylistic elements if needed. To make this process easier, you can use Scenario's prompt tools below the box. These tools can help you generate new ideas, expand a prompt from a few words, or translate a prompt into English. They're designed to help you quickly find the perfect prompt. Check the link to this tutorial in the description. After entering your prompt, click Generate Albedo to generate the base map, also called Diffuse. Open each thumbnail to preview the results in a 3D viewer. To the left, the display settings allow you to adjust how the texture is presented. For instance, you can change the geometry to visualize the texture better. You can also tweak tiling to see the texture repeat and adjust parameters like metalness, roughness, ambient occlusion, and displacement to refine the appearance. You can also change the environment settings to visualize how the texture looks under different conditions or lighting. This helps ensure your texture works well in various scenarios and lighting setups. Under the display settings to the left, you'll find four sliders that let you adjust key parameters for generating the PBR maps. Raised adjusts the height and elevation of the texture. Shiny controls the surface's sheen. Polished smooths the texture's finish. Angular sharpens edges. You can also invert the maps when you're happy with the adjustments click generate maps to create the full set of pbr texture maps including height normal metallic and ambient occlusion maps once generated these maps can be downloaded and imported into other 3d software or game engines now we'll create a second texture for the floor using the Reference Image feature to guide its design. This tool offers two modes, Image to Image and Control Net Structure. Image to Image uses the Reference Image to guide the colors of the output texture. Control Net Structure utilizes the Reference Image to define the pattern and overall design of the output texture. Let's enter the prompt to create this floor texture. A dungeon floor of weathered wooden boards, warped and uneven, with cracks and splinters along the edges. In the top left corner, switch the model to wooden boards for more accurate results. Adjust the influence slider to control how closely the output matches the reference image. Experiment with the range to find the right balance, aiming to preserve key details while keeping the slider as low as possible to allow the AI some creative freedom. Once satisfied, Repeat this process for other textures, exploring different models, settings, prompts, and reference images to build a cohesive and varied set. 
In addition to creating new textures, you can generate maps from uploaded images using image to image. Add a reference image, set the influence to 100%, and skip the prompt. Generate the albedo, then adjust the settings to configure and create the required texture maps. Scenario's texture generation process shares many similarities with standard 2D image generation workflows, making it intuitive and flexible. If you're looking for a unique style for your textures, consider training a custom model tailored to your needs. Whether it's a specific palette, a hand-drawn style, or intricate details, simply follow the standard steps for training a model. Upload 10 to 50 images that reflect your desired style, review or refine the captions, and start training. For more guidance, check out our videos and tutorials on training custom models, including tips on using pinned images and prompt spark. Once your model is trained, go to the model page and add the textures tag. This makes the model ready to generate seamless textures. Scenario provides powerful tools for creating seamless textures, from using predefined models for quick results to training custom models for unique styles. With these features, you can create professional-grade textures for games, architectural renders, and digital art. Stay tuned for part two, where we'll explore how to refine the details of the generated textures, upscale them to higher resolutions, and import them into 3D software or game engines like Unity. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.